What's going on, guys? Welcome to another standard deck critique here on uh, Twitch or YouTube or wherever you're watching this. If uh, you guys are interested in having your own deck critiqued and played around and, give, get, and provided feedback for, uh, check out my Twitch profile. It's twitch.tv slash franklapore, and you can find the details there. As for today, this was submitted by uh, Brian, who is uh, the game store or the game store online, depending on where you are. And um, Brian has an interesting, a spicy, a spicy boy here. Um, so it's mono black artifacts in standard, and we have all four copies of Power Stone Shard, three copies of Gilded Lotus, uh, four Noxious Gearhulks, two Immortal Sun, four Cruel Reality, four Torment of Hailfire. This is not legendary, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Torment of Hailfire is pretty sweet. Metalwork Colossus, allowing us to like sacrifice a, uh, or not actually sacrifice, but just cast pretty cheaply due to Gilded Lotus or Immortal Sun, and uh, that's. Pretty much it. We also have Bontu's Last Reckoning. So if you end up getting Pyramid of the Pantheon up to Gilded Lotus levels, then you still get to untap these two and, and add a bunch of mana, ideally. My biggest concern is that the deck doesn't really have much to do between turns one and three. And if you don't have this... Like, ideally, we're going to go, like, turn one, one of these, right? But it takes two mana to add a counter to this. So I guess turn two, you're going to add a counter to this. But then you're just going to do it two more times. These just might be better as Fatal Pushes. Just have something to do. But. I don't know. We'll see. It's hard to it's hard to say. Like, this deck is so unique that I don't actually have a frame of reference. Right? So I can't actually look at this and be like, well, decks that look like this typically perform in, such, in, perform in this way. Um, but, you know, it's hard to say. Like, this deck is, is super unique. Um current mana cost of non-creature artifacts okay so noxious gear will not be counting towards this I, I had a feeling but i just wanted to make sure also foundry inspector not going to help with that uh in the sideboard we have four phyrexian scriptures so it's just more more uh board wipes that don't kill our own metalwork colossuses or foundry inspectors or noxious gear, gear hulks same thing with the henny's expertise uh, i'm wondering if either of these should be in the main deck maybe sentinel tower just gets rid of artifact uh graveyards in case they have graveyard shenanigans happening traxos is pretty interesting uh as you can imagine almost every card in the deck will untap traxos and then we have thran temporal gateway uh puts legendary cards historic permanence from from your hand of the battlefield um so the only thing you can't really put into play are these everything else you can just put into play but it does cost four mana so i don't know we'll see either way i'm looking forward to playing this deck um I don't know if I want to join a league with it or not, though. The problem is, I feel like we might be tweaking it pretty consistently. And as such... No, we're not going to... No, no no Dread Shade, just because it's uh, it's more artifact. It's more artifact. That it's, machi it's more machine now than man. Twisted and evil. Um, but... Um, yeah, I guess my, my concern is that we might have to make some changes. Because if, like, we get, if we end up just, like, playing it in a league and realizing that we just need more action before turn three or before turn five even. Because on turn three, the only thing we're going to do is add uh, add artifacts. Um, so I, I'd love to be able to change it between that so we don't just end up going like 1-4 or something ridiculous. Uh, I feel like that would be a, doing a disservice. So I'm just going to actually play in some, some cues to get a feel for the deck. Just want to say thanks for all the drafting content you do. I've decided to delve into focusing on drafting and use your content in making optimal draft selections. Currently one with Mardo Equipment deck with Valduck. Uh, and that two red drop, two drop red equipment creature. Oh, the champion. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. No, it was a drunk. Glad to hear it, buddy. I I also like the tweaking between matches, and I think it's also better when people are getting their decks critiqued. So I feel like that's just a better option. And all right, look at that. Nailed it. All right, so double reckoning here. No, no Karn. Uh, I think the reason for no Karn was... I thought there was a reason for that. Oh, I think it's Immortal Sun. Like, you're playing Immortal Sun, so, like, if you have Karn in the deck, uh, you're Immortal Sun. You just can't activate it with Immortal Sun. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. Oh, they went to five? Well, then. Well, then. 
Uh, I don't think it's because he cost mucho, mucho de well, considering this is Brian, Brian would probably just buy whatever card he wanted. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really, I don't assume any of these choices are due to monetary constraints. Uh oh, is this mono black versus mono black? Uh, ours will be significantly different if it was, but nope, it is a, it is not, it is not that. Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, or 10 in order. Um, Final Fantasy 3, uh, which is Japanese 6, comes first before any of those games. And uh, I believe after that it would probably be... I actually... The only ones I played are... Actually, I actually don't remember anymore. I know I played 7, but none of those none of those are even comparable to uh, Final Fantasy 3. We just have to play this guy, right? I mean, he's dead. Like, our opponent has four cards in hand. They haven't played anything yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, braids. Oh, boy. This is one reason why a deck like this might not be great in this format, just because of a braid. So you end up playing, like, a Metalwork Colossus, and they just kill it with a braid. Or you play a Gilded Lotus, and they kill it with a braid. Or hmm. Let me draw my card. Torment of Hailfire. One day you'll be good. I feel like two of these is probably pretty good, right? We can wait. We can take it. We can take some more damage. How can you say that when you didn't play them? Um. Oh, because I would just okay. So I would just know. I would just know if any of those are better than better than six in any way, shape, or form. I know either. I think I believe it's either nine or ten that was very, very good. I've heard good things about those. There's another creature gains indestructible till end turn. Sure. I guess we just pass again, and then we'll try to wipe wipe your board, and then we'll see what happens. Our opponent's like, you haven't played anything, dude, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I know. That's how we do it in Brown Town. I do like seeing this right of Bells and Lock. The only Final Fantasy you played is 14? Good lord. Get your life together. I'm tempted to actually Bonte's Last Reckoning twice here. Depends on how much mana we can get. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. So we can go one, two, three. Add four. Five, six. Thank you. I guess we just reckoning, reckoning. They have one card in hand. You got it. So we traded the other Reckoning for uh, a Rekindling Phoenix. What up, Enraged Muffin? So I guess we take two here. And Grath. I will discard... Guess Power Stone Shard. The Shadows, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. So we're taking 8, 9, 10. So we're just dead. All right. No, he has to sack a guy. So we're almost dead. So we go to two. <clears throat> uh, discard 
Metalwork Colossus. You're not doing us any favors here. All right, go to two. Are we dead? No. Are we alive, though? No. Just one, two, so six. How much mana does this make? So it's 12 mana, so we can do this 10 times. I think we're literally one shy. I don't think this is going to do it. <clears throat> Loses three life, so now they lose. Yep, sack you. Sack you. So those are three. So now you take 18 and you go to two. And then they just kill us with chicken. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Wow, that was actually... Uh, Literally one man away from just winning that game. It was actually surprisingly close. That is sad. Um, I think we. I don't think I care about the Pyramid of the Pantheon. I think I do want Yanni's expertise in here. <laughs> yeah, we'll take all these out. I don't think the pyramid's very good. I'll just bring in yeah, his expertise. Also, this is a 61 card deck, so. Wow, if they if if we had one more mana, they would have not had anything else to sacrifice and they would have just died to a torment of hellfire. That's incredible to me. How dare you, Sarah? How dare you? I will play first. Yeah, I can keep this hand. It does a thing. I think they mulliganed to like five last game too, which is pretty rough. In the kitchen with onions, eh? Well then. That's the place to be. Dang, Bontu's Last Reckoning. What up, Git V? <clears throat> Did they miss a land drop? Are we just done? All right, cool. Good game. <laughs> That's, I bet after game one, they're like, I'll never mulligan again. You'll never catch me mulliganing. Yeah, but I really hate wasting a fatal push on a, on a, uh, on a token. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. If we get to keep power stones, it's pretty good. The old mountain scoop GG, a classic. All right, you are not what we want to be seeing right now, but <clears throat> give me a land. They got a two drop? Oh, I see. Oh, you have a new build for this. Well, Brian, well. Fashionable late to the party, my friend. All right. We do need to hit a land here, but I'm okay with uh, <clears throat> I'm okay with any land, any land, one time. Didn't didn't get there. All right, so we're just stuck on two. This is a game of Magic: The Gathering, where neither player has resources to cast the cards in their deck. I still want to officially sponsor this stream. Oh, good. 
Well, that's unfortunate. I will discard s extremely expensive Metalwork Colossus. Ah, squee. Spam fried rice? Well, I don't like I don't like that much meat, so I would probably decline. Oh, we did it. Look at that. Nailed it. I'll play this guy and hope that you don't have a removal spell. You will, but that's okay. They always do. Dang. It's got to be expertise here, right? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe it should have been Power Stone Shard because then we have Yenny's yeah, expertise. I don't know. They got to have like the full set of a braid, right? Yeah, obviously. All right. Well, Spectre number dose. One day we'll be able to. Sure. I will not be playing Torment of Hellfire with uh with Yehenny's expertise. Not enjoying my land situation here, I'll be honest with you guys. I would like to know how you feel about sushi. I like avocado sushi and... Um, I think we're dead. Would you smoke a jazz stick on live cam one, please, if I do? No, I would not. No, I would not do that. So what do we take so I'm going to say hi and bye spend the evening with the girlfriend finished second of the PBT yesterday though without a side hey Ryu are you um are you Minichan in, in, in the in the discord congrats buddy that's awesome way to go So fingers crossed, uh, we don't get to uh, we get to keep our our lotus petal. <clears throat> it's a lot of a lot of bells and locks over here. So this guy dies to both Chandra and to this guy. Well, I don't love it. Uh, what do we have? Six. We have nine mana. This guy costs six. So we could play a Mortal Sun, turn this off. We die to you. We almost have to play Gear Hulk here. And by... Uh, yes, def definitely uses ability. 100%. Yeah, I can't cast anything else. Colossus is not free after Gil. It does not consider creatures. This says, uh, where X is the total of the corner mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control. That would be sweet, though. Can you steal my guy? Yes, you can. So that is my death. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then, uh, well, we're pretty much dead after that, I imagine.
I guess we go to two. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, they didn't get to attack with Bantu because they didn't. They a creature didn't die. All right, it's pretty good. What's the perfect gift for Mother's Day? Good lord, you're asking the tough questions here, buddy. This is actually significantly better when they have one, two, three. So you, you're free, and now we can actually block you. You can't activate those. We do have to figure out how to deal with your demon, but your demon butt. <laughs> um, attack your face, I guess. Sure. <clears throat> uh, just pop, pop, give it a pop. All right. If you don't, if you have a braid, we're dead. But if you don't have a braid, that's cool. Also, if we don't draw an answer for this demon, we're dead. Okay. Does he have menace or something? Oh, he does have menace. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I guess we're just dead because he has menace. I didn't realize this dude had menace. I guess no one else did either because they didn't say anything. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Yep. That is unfortunate. What would you have drawn? Guess I'll never know because Magic Online is actual garbage. <laughs> okay, seems good. All right. Um, I don't. I'm gonna take these out. I don't think these are great. Um, the only thing you're doing is hoping you can activate them three times. Um, I do like I like expertise oh that's not what I want to do add one add one put them over here I also like just fatal push is there a way to get actually Vraska's contempt is what we because we have no way to deal with like gods or planeswalkers two Vraska's contempt seems great and that, that rounds out our four drop slot a lot and I'll just put the other two in the sideboard Let's try that. Brian, I saw the new list, but I, I'm in the middle of this list now. So I kind of don't want to really interrupt that. All right. Hand's not bad. A lot of a lot of expensive stuff, but we also have how internet. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Despite the fact I will not be smoking a jazz cigar on the stream. Yeah, we can keep this. Meetathon, 11 months in a row. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. All right. Wow, Zach Elstick up in the chat trying to trying to trying to trying to steal some some mono black artifact lists. <laughs> Unbelievable, this guy.
Uh, I have not seen La La Land, but it's in my queue of movies I really want to see. I have it. I have it. I have it ready to go. I have it downloaded, and I just want. I just haven't watched it yet. But it's definitely not in. Uh, it's definitely in my in my queue of movies I want to be watching. So next time we can go Lotus. And that's it. If we draw another Lotus, that'd be sick. We can go Lotus into Lotus. No, we couldn't. Lotus would cost four. No, it would be close, but. No, no cigar. I'm actually not a musical guy. I am a, but I can appreciate a good musical, and I also am a, I'm a Ryan Gosling fan. So, What's up, Chris? <laughs> oh, good times, good times. So actually, actually, wait a minute. This costs. F yeah, you know. Oh God, of course. Yeah, see, this is where Yenny's expertise would be nice. Yeah, see, like this. This is my big problem with the deck right now is that you just get beat down until turn, basically until turn five, and because you have so few creatures, um, you basically get destroyed by any removal they have because they just literally kill your foundry inspector because that's the only creature you have so that is one concern and then they play a karn i think this deck would probably be better suited to have more karns and uh less immortal sons i think they're both doing the same thing by drawing you extra cards maybe I think Immortal Sun is great, but oh, that was actually a pretty good draw. I can only do one thing, though. That's unfortunate. <sighs> First time catching you stream live. Usually YouTube guy would finally be able to catch a live stream. Keep up the great. Thank you so much, man. I had a Universal Simulation one with the other night with my wife, and she actually said that came from that guy that plays magic that you listen to. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. I'd love to be able to play this and this, but that is not how magic works. So instead, I will just put all your things in the graveyard. If that was a Bantu's Last Reckoning, that would be sweet, because then we can play Guild of Lotus and Bantu. I was having dinner. <laughs> Seems like a weird time to join the queue, but no, no worries. Sorry, I totally, I totally joined the queue when I was in the middle of my dinner. All right, well, that's strange, but sure. You know, you. no worries. Trump card, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Okay, now that's a good turn. So you can see these cards we just added doing doing some serious work here. And next time we can play Immortal Sun, so this is our last... This is our last, the final countdown with Karn. It's the final Karn. The final Karn down, I guess you can call it. You guys can use that one if you want. That one's free. Never mind. Welp, never mind. Oh, they didn't take the... What did they take? They took the Cruel Reality? Oh, man. Immortal Sun's where you want to be, bro. Uh, Choose a car that we put into their hand. You can have the Swamp. Enjoy your little Swamperino. 
Six, seven, eight, nine. This costs six. It makes... Uh, actually, we can play this and the Metalwork Colossus, so that's pretty good. We should be able to survive until next turn. We know they have a... S well, we actually don't know anything. We don't know anything. We have no information whatsoever. Hasn't seen the card before. Auto picks the scarier sounding. Cruel reality. Oh. Let's play this guy for free. All right. I think we're actually... I think we just stabilized. I have no idea what just happened, but... Boy, Ravenous Chupacabra just straight up killing a Metalwork Colossus is pretty brutal. How's the green screen haunted? What happened? Oh, we get to draw another card? Oh, that's pretty baller. Two cards a turn? That's where I want to be. <gasps> Ooh, what can we do here? Six, seven, eight, nine. Basically 11 for the, for the sake of casting two spells. Unfortunately, this is seven and this is six. So it's 13. And they sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. So they could just sacrifice something dumb. I think we have to Does it keep moving? Wow, you guys are you guys are real noticeable. Notice noticey? Notice arenos? What's he saying? Nobody knows. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Do we kill the walking? No, we want the life from the chupacabra, I think. I don't think I care about the stupid the stupid ballista. You're gonna kill this in response? Dang. That's that's dirty. Still gonna play this guy for free. I like casting those Metalwork Colossus so much. I I I'll, I'll let they let me do it for free. Boom. That was a Forrest Gump reference, in case you guys didn't didn't get it. Okay, so they're just literally killing all my things. Well, I'm having a good time. What about you guys? Two cards, two cards. Okay, well, that's sad. Target player, I mean, channel player's upkeep, you. So during your upkeep, you can actually put two counters on this guy. One, two, three. F no, you can put one counter. So then you shoot us twice and attack for one. I don't actually like the Metalwork Colossus in the deck because you just can't get him back very efficiently. Like, the other decks had uh, things like, you know, Prophetic Prism and stuff that you could easily sacrifice to get the Metalwork Colossus back. But you're not actually amassing any sort of artifacts here to sacrifice to get back Metalwork Colossus. Oh, I guess they just kill me with that. I didn't know they sacked Karn. I forgot they could sack Planeswalkers, so that's pretty bad. All right, well, we had a good run. Oh, that would have been a great draw. Okay. Braska's Contempt, Metalwork Colossus.
All right, Brian, I'm going to take a look at this new list. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to update it, but for future reference, I do like having things up front so I can actually it's like it's cuz I'm making a video, right? Like I'm trying to present it as like a a product, like a complete product that I can that people can watch and enjoy and self-contained. But now changing the deck halfway cuz now I have to like cuz when I then you know, I have to post the deck list on the YouTube description, so uh, the problem with taking out Torment and Cruel is that they're the win conditions, but I guess we can actually take out one and one. I think that's actually fine. You should seriously put Dark Ritual in this deck. I think you, I agree with you. I agree with you. I will play first. I like this hand. I, yeah, this hand's actually fine. Brian, what was four days ago? All right, I will uh, we'll play this bad boy. The changes, ch, -ch changes, turn and face, and face. Ch -ch -ch all right, now we just need lands. That's all. I wish there was two mana ramp in this format. I wish there was like a mind stone. All right, well, this is how we died. Not with a bang. But with a mana screw. I also could see four gifted Aetherborns in the deck just to just to have something early. I think this deck has definitely got something going for it. With the Torments and the Gift Guild of Lotuses. The Lotuses are land, uh, except before turn five. Close. Land. We did it, boys. God, we're so good at this game. Now only we all need is two more now. This deck has twenty. Can you imagine if this deck had less than twenty-four lands? We got twenty-four lands. This deck needs like twenty-four. What is that? Twenty-four is like the bare minimum for a standard deck. Stop taking my things. No, I'll take your Vresco's Contempt. Take my Bontu's Last Reckoning. I dare you. I dare you. They took my Vresco's Contempt instead. Sorry for messing up the stream. I was testing this and it was the first time I had submitted my own deck for critiques. It's just now getting back. I was just giving a template here. Thank you. <laughs> Brian, you don't have to do all that, man. That's that's not necessary. I'm just saying. All right. Um, I think we might be dead here. Liliana's pretty good. Um, hmm. I think we can go to 10. I think we do. I mean, we don't really have a choice. We can't Bonte's Last Reckoning here because then they just have Liliana on board. Yeah, this deck definitely needs Vraska's in the main deck just because you have no way to deal with Liliana's. You have you have two Immortal Sun, but like, you don't want to have to draw one of your two Immortal Suns to deal with like Planeswalkers. That's pretty rough. Yep, that guy's pretty good. Guild of Lotus into Reckoning. All right, let's do that. I mean, they get their Scarab God back, but it takes all the pressure off. This deck needs like 25 lands. Wait, well updated, sir. Well updated. Wait, what side of the green screen? It's got to be this side, right? What are you guys noticing? Oh, I see what you're saying. All right. Thank you. I get you. Backlight, what's going on, buddy? It feels like longer than three months, Chris. Thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. 
I'll replay my Scrabble God. It's the God of Scrabble. Oh, it's still bad. Dang it. It isn't even fixed yet. Oh, these guys will be good one at one at one point, some point. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. Like they attack for seven. I guess we can pass and kill Scarab God. We're not quite dead yet. I'm gonna try to fix this again. The problem is I got a carpet here, so. That might have done it. All right, let's see what happens. Man, magic's hard. And by magic, I mean... Oh, you have two zombies too, right? So we go to actually eight, and then we go to we go to one here. Okay. It's pretty good. Thankfully, you can't activate your Liliana on the stack. I kind of just want to tweak this deck until it's tournament worthy, and then I just want to play it in an event because it's got really cool cards in it. I don't think I don't think uh, Metalwork Colossus is really where we want to be though, just because it doesn't like you can play it for cheap, but it really dies pretty easily to everything like Raska's Contempt, a Braid, Ravenous Chupacabra. This format's pretty aggressive towards a uh, a Metalwork Colossus that you can't get back. Most of the time, it, the benefit is in getting it back. Interesting. We are running Power Stones. I don't know what to do with my life anymore. With the green screen fixed, my life is complete. I like that that was the only thing... Uh, oh, that's... That's interesting. Five, six, seven, eight. Bug. So we could go Lotus. Three, four, five, six... Five Lotus. And now we have the option of casting either one of these. We gain five if we play this guy. Uh, we can block a 4-4. Four, four. But if they kill our guy, then we're dead. Whereas Last Reckoning should theoretically keep us alive. Is there nothing they can get back that can just kill us instantly? I don't think so. The problem, I guess there's no problem. We get, we 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 get we get to untap with nine mana. Um, yeah, I actually think we have to do this. Okay, well, you get it. <laughs> Same as good. Congratulations. You had a you had a negate. All right. Let's import this one. We'll call this V2. All right, update with kind I own. Wow, I like that they default to the the foil foil un, unglued swamps, unhinged swamps. See, another problem with just changing the deck midstream is that now I have to, like, get these new cards, too. So, um, it's totally fine, right? Don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just try I'm trying to explain why um, I did not want to. Also, you still like the pyramids, huh? Interesting. All right. So, put these back. Get all these foil lands out of here, man. All right, we can add ten more of these. Okay, so what don't we have? Oh, the only change you made was like... Interesting. This actually could be good because it does let you play... Well... So, I actually don't like this at all, really. I want to be honest with you. And the reason being that like you play this on 4, and then you're going to pay 4 on 5 for this. Which isn't very good. Because if you have five mana, you're just gonna you just you have five mana anyway, right? So like on turn five, you go into turn five and you, you spend four of your mana to play this. The only the only thing you're getting a discount on with this card is Metalwork Colossus, any or are these guys. But you're spending eight total mana uh to get a discount to, to, to put a six drop into play. 
And if you have this in play, this guy is already cheaper. So I don't know. I don't think this is, I think you want more removal. Like you'll just be dead. I, I, I think 25 lands is extremely necessary. I'm going to add a 25th land. Um, I'm going to take these out. I don't think these are good. Um, you, like, you have to spend six mana on these, not including the, the, the cost to cast it, to actually add three mana. And I think actually just hitting our land drops is better. Um, same thing with this. I just don't, I don't, this is also legendary. So if you draw both of them, but this is like, you want to, you want to minimize the amount of top decks that are just terrible. The best part about this deck is that you can play your cards and they do awesome things, right? Like you can play Immortal Sun and it just does awesome things as soon as it hits the board. Like same thing with Noxious Gear Hulk or, you know, Cruel Reality. They start working immediately. Whereas these just don't do anything if you top deck them. And also like, like I said, these are the only cards that are actually good with, with it. Is there any what cards in what what cards in standard can't be countered? Emrakul. Why don't we just put Emrakul in the deck? What problem is? Aren't there cards in standard that can't be countered? Oh, they're they're up here. I see. Okay, well not many. And nothing black, so I guess that doesn't that doesn't help. Um all right. I would put these in the side. Like I said, I would put those in the sideboard. If you need them, I would put them in. Um, I also, like I said, I don't like Metalwork Colossus. I don't think that's going to be winning us the game. These are going to win us the game. There are a lot of ways to chump block in standard. I also, I think, I think we could have a fourth Gilded Lotus too. This should be our ramp. I do like the treasure maps a lot. I think that's a good addition. I like Chupacabra as well. My problem with Chupacabra, though, is it does die to Bantu's Last Reckoning. Which which tutors? Final part? Final parting? Final... Oh, Bells and Lock seems insane in this deck. I would play one Bells and Lock. What black cards gain us life? Oh, I like that a lot. Two Masterminds Acquisition. That seems really good. So now I have Chupacabra and Vraska's Contempt and three Bantu's Last Reckoning. Hey, Frank, if you were a magic card, what would you cost to cast? Well, I'd be four mana. Oh, uh, what does Battle at the Bridge inspire? I don't think that's great. Like, just because we're, we're we're an artifact deck, but we don't actually have that many artifacts to 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 tap for, you know, to tap for things. I do like Planar. I actually like Planar Bridge a lot. I don't know if it's good. That's the problem. I like it, but I don't know if it's good. Uh, the problem with Hour of Glory is that uh, I don't like that it doesn't gain us life. I think the life is extremely relevant, even though it's just two life. Uh, Vraska's Contempt also hits Planeswalkers, which is a big deal. Battle only... Yeah, but Battle... Oh, I guess I guess Battle you can just cast for whatever, right? You don't have to have artifacts. Um, What about a Josu Vest as like a win condition? I guess battle is probably pretty a pretty bad thing to uh, search for. So you can take to next life. Um, uh, I would play I play Vraska's Contempt over Never Return in the main deck. I I kind of like uh, main decking. So here's the thing. I actually like the Foundry. The Foundry Inspector is not in the deck because they just turn on the removal for the opponent. Um, 
I don't know if I like Chupacabra over Gehenny's. I think I do like Gehenny's expertise better. Because it just turns on the removal, right? Like, And, like, you're going to be able to kill your own guy with, with Bontu's Reckoning or... This is 60 right here. I wonder if this is good. I wonder if this is where we want to be. I don't think we need three more sweepers in the sideboard. We can take you out. The problem with Herald of Anguish is that you're not going to be conspiring any of these... Art you're not going to be uh, inspiring with any of these artifacts. Like, so it's literally just going to cost you... Like, you're going to tap this for three mana before you tap it to reduce its cost by one. Um, and you're not going to tap a Noxious Gear Hulk to reduce its cost by one. So, you also don't want to probably sack any of these just to give neg two, neg two. But I do like what's going on here. I think we can actually cut one of each of these for more early game things. Also, because we've added Bells and Lock as a win condition and double Masterminds acquisition. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but do we just move a thing? I have to actually swap, go from here to here in order to get this guy to update. All right. Um, oh, I moved this to the sideboard, apparently. Okay, so. Also, Josie with Immortal Sun seems pretty insane. I think I actually like this version a lot. Let's say Battle of the Bridge. We'll put one battle in. I, I did it again, didn't I? I mean, I did, yes, obviously. I don't even know where it would be. Uh, I don't think we fail push just because we have Trouble Bantu's Reckoning. And, like, you don't want to draw it late. What's Mirage Mirror? I don't even know what that is. I don't even have any of it. What did I just remove? Oh, Bontu's Reckoning. Why does it do that? It's because a copy of Artifact Creature Enchantment or Land. Yeah, that seems like it'd be really good in multiplayer. Although copying a Guild of those seems pretty sweet. Um, Let's actually try it like this. The only thing I wish is that we had more card drawing. But Immortal Sun's also legendary, so it's kind of awkward. Are there any, like, Phyrexian Arena-type abilities in Standard right now, in black? That don't that don't deal you, like, a million damage? That just deal you, like, one? Azor's, I mean, we'd have Treasure Map. I, I, I mean, I think I don't think you need Treasure Map and Azor's Gateway. Oh, Bloodfast is actually pretty good. I like that. I don't think I want it in the main deck, but. I think two of those in the sideboard is pretty good. Um, take the planar bridge out. We'll just put like duress. Strife, 10 for the Karn Father and one set for the 25th Swamp. <laughs> uh, well, technically it's the 21st Swamp, but. Uh, yeah, I don't want any creatures, though. I don't want to add creatures to the deck because then they just have huge targets on their head. So... I think we just add Duress to the sideboard. Yeah, I like four Duress in the sideboard, to be quite honest. Just against the control decks. Let's actually try to play this. Yeah, let's... This seems... This seems good. We're on V2, right? I want to make sure we're editing V2. All right, cool. Play. Oh, we're in. Somebody's in. Come on, V2. All right. Get to play against Stank Boy. I will play first. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Look at that. Four lands. Thanks to that extra land we added. We're going to top deck a Gilded Lotus. I like it when Stankboy wishes you good luck. Then you know you're going to have a good game. 
if someone like Stank Boy can 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 wish you uh, good luck, have fun, then the world truly is in a good place. My father's name was Stank Boy. Papa, is that you? <laughs> you said you were just going out for cigarettes. Wow. Not okay. But so okay at the same time. All right. Kill the Lotus one time. Come on, don't do me. Don't do me like don't do me like this, Stank Boy. All right. That's not that's not what we're looking for, just to be clear. I wish Immortal Sun also gave opponents creatures negative one, negative one. That's really where I want to be. Are any of the Memorial Lands getting constructed? Yeah, a bunch of them are. I think all of them are, actually, except for the... I think the red one is the only one that's not constructed worthy. Five, six. Thank you. All right, we're going to take five. Go to five, and then we'll probably be dead. Chugrin, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. 28 months in a row. That's pretty ridiculous. All right, so now we go to three, and uh, probably dead, but what can you do? Magic's hard. And dead. Oh, just a just casual hazard. Okay, you're just messing with me now. What's in our sideboard? What can we get? Yehenny's expertise is not going to do it. Maybe it would. This guy costs six. Actually, they can just bring that dude back. That is unfortunate. So we have six. This costs three. Let's search our library for a card. One, two. So we have, we still have six mana left. Does Vraska's Contempt do it? No. Okay. Battle does take out Haz Hazaret. That's actually not bad. One, two, three, four, five. If we do it for four, we go to seven. It's actually not terrible. We survive. Also, the one ofs are much better with uh, with Mastermind's Acquisition in the deck, too. Can we do it for six? Oh, no, we can do it for five. Yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. That actually, that's even better. Oh, we could have tapped Immortal Sun for one more. Oh, that would have been so good. I totally forgot about that. If we die to Lightning Strike here, I'm going to be real sad. All right, let's try not to die to not drawing anything, but... Pretty good, pretty good. Six mana, four, ten, seven, and six is third. Oh, we're one mana shy of playing both of these. Well, I want to kill this guy, not the Urshaker kind of despite the fact that they can get this guy back. It's toughness, right? Yeah, all right. Yeah, if we kill the Earthshaker Crown, we're dead. Yes, use the ability. Man, we could have been at six. Let's keep that in mind. We'd be at six life. Well, doesn't matter. We'd be at three. We'd still be dead. All right. That was not too bad, though. I feel like all these games are super close. I almost feel like we want another Immortal Sun just because it's very, very good. Um, all right. So, didn't we... Oh, I was like, didn't we take out one of these? But then one is Battle of the Bridge, so that's pretty good. Um... I just want another Yehenny's Expertise, I think. Take another torment. Oh, 
I'll keep this hand because any one land lets us play this and then uh, Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, I actually think leagues are better, or not, uh, or queues are better for critiquing decks than leagues are. Because you get a lot more, oh, that was a good draw. You get a lot more uh, ability to adjust and make changes. Land one time. We're not even, we're not going to do this because if we do hit a land, we get to uh, play Power Stone. Yes. And then we get to Scry. Sweet. Probably Julian. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Why does that guy need haste? Nobody knows. Um. Oh, God, you're so good, but we can't actually afford to keep you right now. Do we try to hit a land here? I feel like we do. Yeah, we didn't want to draw that. Land. That's not a land, but I will actually cast that. They don't have a black mana. That was actually pretty good. That was well timed because now we can scry. We can still scry during our upkeep to flip treasure map. <sighs> we know that's both of our sons. <laughs> we do have tutors. All right, we can actually. You're right. You're right. No, well, that's actually pretty good. I'm not going to use it. I can easily take four here, but... Well, not only can Mastermind shuffle, it actually will grab us the card that we were uh, disheartened to put on the bottom. So I feel like that's good. Oh, a little, little beep beep. a lot of creatures I'm uh can't say I'm thrilled about the amount of creatures this is however being able to draw extra cards every turn thanks to treasure map is pretty good treasure cove should I say uh one two three four five we do need we do need more swamps though I'm gonna be honest with you guys so we take three if we exile this but then they get back scrounger too that's pretty obnoxious three four five six so we go to three <laughs> actually kind of want to draw a card here. One, two, three, four for Vraska's. Yeah, I don't hate that. The problem is if we... I don't really want to Vraska's this guy. Or I don't want to... Uh, none of these creatures I want to kill. If I kill this, they're just going to... Well, I guess they can kill that pretty easily. Oh, we actually... No, we can't do that efficiently. We need three black. We only have two black. Yeah, the problem is, like I said, we need three black. So we go black, black. This adds two. So we're tapping four mana to make two mana, which is not ideal. So we'd have to go, all right, black, black, colorless, colorless. We sack a treasure. I mean, we can still do it. I just don't like the idea of it. Also, they sack this in response. They, we just... Sack one, we do it for three. 
they just sack it. But if they sack it, actually, they don't get to bring back what's his name. So, all right, we can do that. We still have Noxious Gear Hulk for next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alternatively, we could have actually Gear Hulk the the Phoenix and then killed the token with battle, which actually would have been probably probably better. Actually, I'm actually sad I didn't think of that. I would actually, I would think this is a meme where they have white border basics, but they have this black border basic too. So it's just like, oh, I just feel bad. Are there any sweepers in, in standard that actually exile the creatures that they sweep away? Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. This is three, four, five. It's not very good for us here, unfortunately. And if we just play this, they unlicense disintegration. We gain two and we lose. Yeah, Settle's not playable for us, unfortunately. God, do we just want four Vraska's Contempt? Urza's what? Urza's Ruinous Blast? That doesn't exile, right? That just destroys. It does exile. Interesting. Hmm. Sure. Okay, if you guys can start naming black cards or artifacts instead of white cards, that would be... Also, Blessed Light isn't even legal and standard, so... <laughs> oh, boy. We're having a good time. Oh, Blessed Light. I'm thinking of Blessed Alliance. Either way, you named a card that is completely unplayable. How are we still alive? I don't know, but it's not it doesn't last it's not gonna last for long. Yeah, I think that's game. God gods are just so obnoxious. Like we just need we need four Varaskas. Yeah, there just has to be four Varaskas contempt in the deck. Put a I don't I don't think I like the Thrans. Put a Bantu's Last Reckoning and we'll put a Yehenny's Expertise in the sideboard. Uh Doomfall is not terrible, but it does they just choose to uh <sighs> We have no fatal push because we just don't have that that much room. Like, we're trying to maximize our late game stuff, and we just don't have the room for a card like Fatal Push. We also didn't draw a ton of lands that game, which is sad. All right, let's keep at it. We're out of play points. That is sad. Uh, all right, version two. Have you ever had Colant? I don't even know what that is. Huh. I have not. No. Well, 
What's up, Zaxor? Uh, we currently have a losing record, but we're having a good time, so it's okay. Everybody wins. Uh, I like I said, I don't I don't actually mind. Um, I don't actually mind fatal push in the deck. I think it could be helpful, but the problem is we have to cut something. Like you, you, we got to we got to suggest something to cut if you can't, if you're going to suggest a card to add. Where is Mike? I have no idea. You'll have to ask him. <laughs> Ran is pretty high in a meta. Yeah, aggro is yeah, there's a lot of aggro in this in this meta game. You are not wrong, Spazio. Um I will keep this hand because of this treasure map we have. We could cut some of the six and seven drops. You're, you're not wrong. Oh, Renegade map. Let's see who artifacts harder, shall we? Come on, third land. Oh, we look, we found Mike. There he is. There you go. Zaxor, four months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back, as they say. I think the, the, the question this deck has is finding the right balance of, like, these late cards. Yeah, this might be too many. Uh, Lil Boofy's not back. Lil Boofy's still in prison. He's still incarcerated, unfortunately. Those are Hey Guys 1 bits, apparently. I have no idea if that's what they're called or not. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping to hit a land here, but sometimes 25 lands isn't enough to draw a third land, I guess. It's okay. They missed the third land, too. Oh, and a fourth land, I see. By the power of Lil Boofy. Um... I can't be I can't be greedy about it even though it doesn't oh I guess we just win the game well that was a a worthy contest I'm gonna take out these last reckonings and yeah Henny's expertise and a battle at the bridge and I'm gonna bring in these four duresses we already are at 61 aren't we oh no we were at 61 now we're not I don't think we need 26 lands like you don't have to have 26 lands in a deck to hit your third land drop this is just a fluke it's just not a very fun fluke, unfortunately. They were like, oh, dang, he's scrying? I'm out. I can't handle it. I got to go. I got places to be. $10 spaghetti sauce. Any idea what the new cards in M19 will be? None. None idea at all until they reveal them. I agree. I agree we're drawing too many of these. I think we can add... Take out Torment. Take out a Cruel. We're going to add two Fatal Pushes. Azor's game may, might be better just because we have so many different costs. And there's matchups where Yehenny's expertise is just dead. Also, it does gain us life. Let's try with Gateway. I don't have Gateways, though. I'll have to get them. Because they're like 19 tickets each or something ridiculous. They're they're a really ridiculous price um, for a card that does not really see that much play. <laughs> you say you to man. I'm like, no, you are. You to real MVP. I'm going to take a look at your hand, though. Oh, I want to cast this guy. Uh, no, Azora's Gateway is actually mythic, oddly enough. Ooh, Zahid, Maverick Thopterist. I'm going to take this Rebuck. 
the Rebuck stops here, buddy. I hope you guys really think I'm going to pronounce it Rebuck. I hope you think that's... Uh, should Death Rite Shaman be banned in Legacy? I don't think so. Who cares about that idiot? Alright, so we know you drew a Fetid Pools. That's pretty cool. I don't have to dress you, because I'll just, I'll just whiff. I'll just whiffle ball. Oh, this deck definitely doesn't need creatures. Then you just turn on all the removal. I mean, Demon Lord Bells and Locks going to do that anyway, but... I like, oh, I like Compass, too. Dang, you guys are naming all the good, all the on-point artifacts here. <laughs> Island? Okay, so, yeah, all right, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll duress you now and hope you drew a thing. Dismiss that. Oh, we got your card. <laughs> got him. That was pretty good. Negative two, negative two, gain two life. Uh, ooh. I do kind of like that. Moment of craving. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, dang. Your top decks are on point, buddy. On point top decks. While I am scared of uh, Zahid next turn, Tezzeret on six is just a little more than I'm really willing to deal with here. I think I'm pretty sure Karn does only draw lands. That's what I heard anyway. Here we go. Zahid for president. Alright, that's gone and Inventor Sphere is gone. So you have Thopterist in one other card. So tap four to make four. I'm just gonna play Lotus here. It's the only thing I can do. I don't even know why he said it like that. Cruel Reality seems pretty good against them. Except for when they play Thopterist. Other than that, though, pretty good. All right. Or do I play Bells and Lock? Ooh, maybe I want to play Bells and Lock. Uh, Bells and Lock says, when it enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card and put it into your hand. If the card's converted mana cost is four or more, repeat this process, and it deals one damage to you for each card put into your hand this way. So if you draw like, you can draw like three, five, six, seven, eight mana spells and put them in your hand. Or you can just hit one. You can hit one, two, drop. So he either draws you one card or draws you more than one card. I mean, the thing is, like, our Torment of Hailfires are, are not actually more than more than four. Battle at the Bridge is not more than four. So we don't actually have... I don't think we have a lethal amount of more than four cards in our deck. Yeah, because you're exiling non -land, so You're always going to draw a spell, which is pretty sweet. Oh, God. Oh, you're just, you're just bringing out Maverick Thopterist. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually go Bells and Lock, Bontu's Last Reckoning. Not in that order if we hit a Bontu's Last Reckoning. So guys, fingers crossed that we hit a Bontu's Last Reckoning. So 
So now we make five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten mana. Add three, add that. All right, here we go. We did it. Ooh, ooh, drew four. That's pretty good. That's baller. I mean, they're expensive. <laughs> uh, you just got a mortal son here. How much mana do we have next turn? Uh, we can add. We can play this. We'll have three. Add five. One, two, three. Add five. So I'll have 12 mana next turn. So we can go seven. We can play a five drop. Or we can just play a Josu. Kicked. Or we can just play a Vraska's Contempt and a Cruel Reality, which seems pretty good. Uh, I don't want another Lotus. I want to actually be proactive. I want to do stuff. I want to get these guys up. We're at 13. I don't think that's super safe. Could be fine. Actually, Gear Hulk is probably pretty good. But I, I don't think we can cast both, right? We only have 12, not 13. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 makes 10. 11, 12. I still think Gear Hulk's probably correct. Make sure we didn't play land this turn. I don't want to be awkward. I guess we can also just block. I, I doubt their one card is removal, right? Famous last words. What's it gonna be? Uh, yeah, I was thinking. I was actually thinking of Mortal Sun Cruel. I was definitely considering it. My problem. I don't want. I don't want to cruel just yet without doing something else first because they have so many one ones to sacrifice. They can just go sack this guy, sack this guy. That's a good dude. So if we block, they can sack a prism. What is it? Four mana? Two mana. Uh-oh. Okay, that's actually fine. They can't kill him, so... Right? Do they just want to attack with both these guys? I might actually just block here. No, probably not. We can take seven and get the Herald off the board with the Noxious Gear Hulk. I will discard a Cruel Reality. I think we have... Actually, does Power Stone Shard do anything for us? So we can add three to make one. Then we have six to activate both of these, which gives us 10. I don't think so. What do they got? Four guys. To, they have five things they can sacrifice. So we can torment for 10. It's actually a good amount. That seems okay. We 
Yeah, Torment for a lot next turn seems good. Especially if we get another Swamp, it's probably just game. Are you guys just card hornswoggle, card final reward? What are you guys looking up? Just like really niche playable, unplayable constructed cards from Limited? I'm going to block if you let me. I don't think you're going to let me though. I think I'm going to do some shenanigans here. I'll block. All right, that guy died. Oh, card Yargle. Oh, we're getting good. Something's happening. Is it another Herald? No, it's a Searcherino. I think you're dead to Torment here. Torment has to hit you... Eight, seven, seven times? Literally exactly seven. And you have three guys to sacrifice. Oh, you have one card in hand, so land. Oh, actually, we don't need it because we can do it for 11. Oh, it's actually perfect. Yeah, so they would sack these guys and then they just and then and lose this guy and then they still have seven seven times three to deal with, which is twenty one. Got him. Tormented. Also, don't forget Mastermind's acquisition gives us two more of every other card. So I think we can actually where are we we're at two and two. Um let's try it with Azora's Gateway. Also, Azora's Gateway is really what you uh, why am I looking up I don't know what I'm doing here. Azor's Gateway is really what you want with the X spells, so. Uh, goat bots. Goat bots, can you open? Oh boy, Karn. Karn, Karn, Karn. Hopefully you'll have gateways. Dun, 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 dun. Brian, no worries, buddy. I, uh, GoatBot sponsors me, so I can just borrow from GoatBots. No. No. All right, cool. No, we definitely not buy Azor's Gateway just on a whim. These cards are, these are, I think they're like five tickets now. Which is not a tremendous amount, but it's also not something I'm just going to frivolously. 380, okay, they went down, so that's cool. They are legendary too, which is worth noting. But the good thing is you can actually exile one to itself from your hand. All right, let's go Azor's. instead of treasure maps yeah i've actually think i think mastermind's acquisition has been great so far so i'm actually i'm actually a fan of what this deck is looking like i don't think i care about hope of gear per to be honest with you i'd actually just rather have more fatal pushes in the sideboard Let's give it one more go. Dang, I think we just missed it. I'll 
All right. Yeah, we can keep this hand. This is good. Oh, Power Stone makes total sense, Spazio, yeah, because it ramps you to five, which is great. Because you get Gilded Lotus on five, or it just hits a... Uh, it's another it's, a, it's it's another card that untaps when you have Bantu's Reckoning. Ooh, interesting. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, look, we're both two Ragavans, dueling rag Ragavans. I'm going to last reckoning these guys into the Stone Age. Also, it lets us play Power Stone Shard and then... Uh, <laughs> I like Yoakum with uh, with the, the hey buddy, uh, your opponent said good luck. I'm like, oh, oh, my mistake. I will... Uh, I will uh I will respond in kind. Oh what up, Snake? I really don't want to give you another turn because then you play the stupid idiot. I like your mom. Frankie, Frankie, your opponent said good luck. Don't be rude, okay? What do we exile here? Look at that cutie Bronto, Don. Which is actually surprisingly good against us. I guess we can draw and just see what we hit. I really want to hit a land, so. Oh god. Well, it's not going to be Vir Virgil's Gear Hulk, because that's not going to come down post-combat. Oh, a walking Burlista. Walking barista. Hmm. So we have five mana. It's... I'll exile a power stone shard here. Did you guys hear? Did you guys hear Alexa? She just said, to be honest, it's been kind of a rough day. Just kidding. I've been great. I didn't ask you. So we have six mana. And we're probably just going to kill this Bronto Dono. Yep. We'll activate just in case we hit a land and then we can exile the other land. Yep, seems good. They have two cards in hand. I don't know what, what they'd have to get rid of Bells and Lock. Probably Vraska's Contempt. But that's not it. So I think it's just Bells and Lock here. What can we get out of the sideboard, actually? We can get a Fatal Push to kill this. We could also get a Walking Ballista to kill this. Mastermind into Walking Ballista? That doesn't seem terrible. I mean, otherwise we take... They can put a counter on this guy, so we take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8...
I don't think Vraska's scorn is the one you're looking for here. I'll just play Bells and Luck and hope we don't die to Bells and Luck. Okay, we drew one card. Seems good. Seems rough. All right, going five here. Push, push. Okay, so we go to th three. Not dead yet. So, so long as your last card is not... Search your library for a card. Is it Battle at the Bridge or is it Noxious Gear Hulk? Gear Hulk gains us two. Battle at the Bridge gains us more. If we hit a land, we can also go Immortal Sun, Battle at the Bridge for one. That's not going to do it. Yeah, we're dead to Gear Hulk, but <laughs> thank you, Yokes. Always with the positive thinking. Um, yeah, we'll get a Gear Hulk. All right. Fingers crossed. Go to one. No gear hulk. Well, that sure is sad, isn't it? Oh, that's a lot of mana, though. So one, two, three, we make six. And we have nine mana total. So we actually have to kill this guy, which is sad. This is like the perfect draw, but. Yeah. If we go to kill this guy, they just sack it in response to kill our gear hulk and we die. So. Land is good. I like lands. So we have 11. Is this the correct play? How many do they have to dodge? They have to dodge 7 again, right? We have 11 mana. I think they're dead, actually. Do we just torment them for lethal? If you kill this guy, well, now you're definitely dead. <laughs> now you're dead for sure. Torment of Hailfire, ladies and gentlemen. Attack first doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. It has no relevance. If they sack their guy, they have one less thing to sacrifice anyway, so it, it doesn't matter. You guys are getting literally bent out of shape for something that has zero effect on the game. Isn't that cute? I'll bring in another Yehenny. Actually, they have a bunch of big guys. We'll bring another Bantu's Reckoning. Yeah, I guess I'll just kill you from 19. Seems good. Uh, I also like more Fatal Pushes. I don't like Gateways just because they have uh, ways to kill it. Mm. 
The relevant substantial unknown cards that they could have in hand that give them unexpected resources. Like what? You have to na- you have to name a card. You can't just a- you can't just propose a fictitious situation where there's some random card in blue black, uh, in in blue black tokens that 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 may or may not give them an advantage. Like up uh, the onus is on you to tell me what that card is. I, I don't have to play around invisible cards. This is a fairly questionable keep, unfortunately. We might just be getting a... Uh, four mana black instant draw two. Yes, but they're taking two damage and they're netting one card. So... Okay, also that card's not really played in the black green tokens decks. Just because the card exists doesn't mean I should be playing around it. There's also final reward, which I guess I could be playing around, but I'm not going to. Oh, you guys are amazing. Come on, Reckoning. That's not a Reckoning. We're going to have a Reckoning here in a minute. It's not going to be good. how good at this magic game we are I mean I like lands too but also they have no energy and also one forest that seems good for us what is oh interesting alright well I, I do like having lands I don't know if that's a thing that my deck will offer up to me, but... Hey, we did it. Whenever cast a creature, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm probably going to get rid of you. I'm not a big fan of your Rishkaring ways. I'm a little Lana War. Oh, they don't, even have a, they don't even have a green. They haven't had any extra mana to draw their cards. Land. Dang it. You're not a land. Look at this sad state of affairs we're in. Oh, get a swamp, I guess. God, what a time to be alive. That dude just masterminds acquisition for a swamp. What a dummy.
Cue the flood now? Yes, please. Let me flood. Let me flood out with this hand. So this is going to add five, so we have seven total mana. Or we can play Lotus for five, and then we have five again. I think we're at 11. We can probably just play Immortal Sun, but I am worried about thrashing Ronto face. Or we can just Lotus here and then next turn Josie Vest, but then again, Lotus puts us in Bronto face range. Or we can just play Cruel Reality, which actually seems pretty good against them. This is basically like casting Noxious Gear Hulk only, you know, every single turn for the rest of the game. Oh. I didn't want to sun there because I do feel like they have, a, they probably have some sort of uh, thrashing Brontodon in hand. Gear Hulk? That's a big boy. Now we can just eat that guy. That seems, eating that guy seems great. Oh my god, all four of them on that guy? Oh, this is going to be delicious. How much do we have now? Six? Nine? We can play this for six. We'll have three left over. Can we play this for five? One, two, three. Definitely doing that. So we have one left over. Yeah, we can do this. No, wait, can we? Yes, we can. Oh my god, it's so delicious. What up, Mind Stab Thrall? Oh, Choops. It's your boy, Choops. How much mana do we have? Like a million? One, two, three. We have six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can just kick this Josu. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we can actually play Shard. We'll have three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll play Shard first. Oh, we just win the game. Dang. They didn't even let us do it. That's sad. Either way, I think this deck uh, is pretty sweet. I don't know if it's super competitive, but I think I think I like the place it's in now more than I do when Brian first showed it off. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, appreciated seeing how we went through the changes. And I think that might have been better in the future than just playing through a full league. Maybe actually playing match by match to try to change it in between to, to tweak it and, and see if we can get better results. Uh, either way, if you guys want to have your deck critiqued, feel free to check out my Twitch profile. It's got information on how you can do that. It's twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. You know the drill. I'll see you next time.